guy this is Eunice and I'm in one of my favorite stores I am in the Goodwill store today looking around uh, for some books now I have already um, picked some things in my cart I did get a couple handbags and so forth and some books of course and everything which is I'm still looking at some books um, especially since it's Christmas holiday books are really great gifts um, that you can give and everything and plus I do have my bookstore excuse me I do have the bookstore that I am um you know stocking up uh, and everything um I think sometime this year I probably might start selling a few um kids um uh, clothes I don't know um and everything um I'm headed back through um, here. I didn't find much. It's so Christmassy right now. Um, and, you know, I'm not picking up any jeans today and everything. Uh, I'm headed to the women's clothing section and everything to see what I can find. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. They actually sell they close um, pretty high here, um, in my opinion, <laughs> which is not good and everything. But the uh, color tag today is yellow, which you know I probably won't find any yellow tags. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know if you consider that a yellow tag or not, right there. But anyway, yeah, it could be a yellow tag. I don't know. I didn't want that to do anyway, though. <laughs> uh, oh, here's a yellow tag sticking out. Something that I do not. So, these handbags need to be yellow tags. They are definitely uh, putting these look at blue tags. Um, I'm not going to find that many yellow tags. I'm just going to get what I think is good. So I'm going to head back over here to the handbags. I did stop in some of those bin things that they pulled, new stuff that they pulled out. Handbags or slim pickings today. I did not look in here though, so I will do so. That feels like a diaper bag or something. I did find a sack and a Michael Kors, of course. Oh, this has got to be Madden. So pretty. It doesn't say Madden. Something similar to his style. Rally. I'm not picking up any more rallies. I got one rally bag that don't sell. And then I had it for a while. When you start selling handbags, you soon learn <laughs> what will sell, what will not. And um, I think I've learned that. Hey, it's pretty, but this made in China, no brand. Okay, see that? It's pretty. So much Christmas stuff, guys. So much Christmas stuff. And don't think I don't love it because I do. And check out the shoes while I'm in the um, handbag section. See, nothing's changed over here. 
Sometimes when you go away and stay away a little bit, they'll bring out or you begin to sit close by. Uh, barns, whatever that is. Yeah. Now, this is a nice bag here, but I don't know the brands on it. It's cute, though. The yes, yeah. But the handles is kind of rattled and everything. But it's uh, nice. I decided not to get that. I could fix the handle, I think. Jacqueline Smith. I ain't seen one of her bags in a, a long time. I don't hardly check wallets and so far. I got a few wallets and so far that I don't even show doing the sale which I'm going to start doing yeah you know, just a couple while while it has no name but it feels like feels nice one thing I got pulled too I'm thinking that I had a Michael Kors wallet and it was excited about it and put it in this is when I first started and uh, it wasn't so we got pulled off uh, gas bag in good condition too. I didn't see this one when I came in here. And that is 15. Huh. Yeah. And that darn wall cut me off, y'all. Mm. Yeah. Headed into the... I really didn't find anything here. Uh, I did find some stuff um, on the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down this way. Yeah. I found some crystal handles holder. I'm already always indecisive when it comes to baskets and things like that so I really don't know <sighs> yeah so I'll be showing the haul soon Oh, this is nice. Kind of heavy. Candle warmer. Warning. Candle warning. Okay. That is not brass. Looks like brass. I'm trying to find stuff, you know, that I've seen. Okay. See you the, in the hall. Good morning, guys. This is Eunice. And, um... Welcome, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is haul time. I did go out thrifting this morning early. And I spent maybe about an hour and a half or hour, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, in the uh, Goodwill thrift store. But I did find some good stuff. Uh, the handbags were there, but they weren't as the ones that I like to pick up. I did find a couple handbags that I do like to pick up and so far. And everything and then I got a uh, little one home decor um, and everything beautiful beautiful uh, and of course books so let's get started so it is haul and coffee time this is good I'm trying not to have coffee on my way going Cause I want to relax and have coffee when I get here. So let's get started. And since I only have two bags, a handbag, I'm going to show those first. 
This is a beautiful uh, Michael Kors bag. I love the color. It is a all year round season color in my opinion um because it does have the um um the light the blue uh fall color and then it has the also um winter fall color and spring summer color is what i'm trying to say i'm getting all distracted and so far <laughs> the straps are really great on here there is no damage here is your little micro cord uh charm and all that uh, you do have a one open pocket here and uh, this is a zipper bag and so forth and it's fairly clean in the inside uh, still needs sanitizing of course and so forth but yeah uh, this is it and I did try to pay attention to the um, tags and so forth as the yellow tag there of course, I didn't find anything worth picking up on yellow tag, but anywho, uh, yeah, I got this bag here, and then I got the sack. Um, this is a nice um bag, um, uh, with um, got a lot of adjustment to it. You can also take this bag off. This is like a um, you can de you detach the strap. It's like a messenger bag, and the reason I picked it up is because I do love this brown, um, uh, this here um, leather, uh, because this leather looks kind of patina and everything. It's a vintage bag. There is no damage, and also too, you can carry this as a backpack. Maybe that is the reason why we got all this strap. <laughs> and you can see here. Uh, so this is the uh, backpack purse uh, messenger bag and I love the studs the little uh, strip here um, here um, and everything and uh, it does have a snap closure uh, have the stud uh, and I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay do have an open pocket here and then you do have another open pocket here a little zip pocket right here um and all that um and you have some nice ties and i'm trying to think that what in the world is so heavy in this bag which is distracting me and this is one of my beautiful crystal candles very expensive i did a comp on everything uh while i was in that this is really heavy um and all that and thank god it has a little label right there so i'll easily be uh, able to look it up which i did do the comp and so forth but i'll know exactly the name of it and so forth when i go and put the uh details in here and so forth very nice beautiful candle holder crystal candle holder and so forth so that's was my distraction <laughs> yeah and like i said this is a messenger bag and you got all kind you got like uh pencil holder one two three four pencil holder sunglass holder phone holder and all that good stuff in this bag. And I like the print as well here. All right, start to snivery. Okay, and so we got that and all that. And it does have a zipper pocket right here. And then you'll see the sack logo right there, the sacks. Um, so, yeah, I definitely want to pick this bag up and everything. Because this is a nice bag. Um, that old time leather and so forth, it's just nice. The leather is really, really great. I really don't care too much for, uh, messenger bags and so forth because I like the brief briefcase type, like for papers and stuff like that. This is a perfect little bag for going to the library, the gym and whatever, throwing stuff in and everything. And like I said, this is also like a... Uh, backpack here because you got all these straps and so forth. I was wondering about these straps and so forth like what in the world But now I see <laughs> It's also a backpack Okay, so I like this. I like the um the it looks luxurious looks expensive the, the leather does and so forth and everything so I like this so I picked up those two and Let me show you the other crystal here 
these are the two crystal uh they heavy too uh crystal uh candle holders that i did pick up and i know these definitely is going to sell uh i don't know how long but uh it'll take to sell but i know they definitely gonna sell and these are very very pretty uh and very very heavy and these are definite crystals i don't know a lot about clear glass myself i i love listening to a uh, lavender clothesline and so forth she is one of my favorites uh, and everything and she always says she doesn't know about the clear glass <laughs> I don't know much either, but I do know these are definitely crystals. Uh, I did do the comp in the store Okay, I'm gonna sit these right here. Can't let those get broken There's no chips or anything on those which is another reason I picked them up and also these um Candle holder crystal candle holder was um in one of those new bins that they had pulled out So I just figured you know since I'm walking by why not check so when I did and of course Books people so let me go ahead and get these uh, Book deals over with and let you know why I picked these books up Bobby Frey is a world world known chef um, I do watch him. I used to watch the, the cooks all the time uh, I don't watch them so much now, but uh, when I seen this book and so far, I decided I'll pick up Bobby. <laughs> I love picking up cookbooks and people, um, they will see him, um, you know, people that love him uh, would want this book. He does some great meals. He really do some great meals. And I loved watching that show, uh, the cook show. Um, I think he's got another one now where he does the grill it and things like that. So, yeah, I think I'll pick up Bobby Frey. Flay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do have horses in, uh, Florida. We do have people who raise horses and things like that. So, I just picked up this book and figured maybe somebody would like that if they are interested in, like, raising horses. This is a guide to raising horses and so forth. And I figured I'd pick this up and, um, let someone have at it and so forth. Um, and everything. So, I thought this was a great book to pick up. I love horses and I do have another, a uh, few uh, horse books and so forth about um, I have a one book about a particular horse and then I do have a book about uh, People who love horses and so forth. So this would be my third book really on horses uh, Harlan Coben is a great writer. I do have one of his books in here and everything and I actually um, picked up this book and I'm thinking, okay, I'll go ahead and pair this book up, lock this book up with the one that I do have. But when I seen, uh, did the comp on this book, this book holds its own value and so far, so I won't be lock, locking them up. This is a good book to read and so far. Very interesting. He writes a whole lot of books about, uh, a thriller, suspense, murder, and all that good stuff. Uh, which is what you want in a mystery, um, to be honest, um, and of course somebody cut the jacket, why, I don't know, but anyway, or oh, maybe the jacket was just made like that, I think it might have been made like that, nobody could have cut the jacket that even and all that, so, there you go, this is, um, hold tight, okay, I picked this book up, or, <laughs> We as children know about a uh, little red riding hood. Um, you know, uh, this is back 50 years ago, 50, 60 years ago when I was little and everything. So not to tell my age or anything like that. But yeah, these books have been back through my childhood and I'm pretty sure a lot of other childhood, little red riding hood and so far. And I wasn't going to pick this book up. But I did the comps on it, and the comps on this little book is pretty good. It, I, I think it's like one of the um, classic children's books is what it is. It's one of the little classic children's books and so far. So this book still holds its value and so far and everything. And I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, like I said, um, I read this for me with the Little Red Riding Hood uh, book. And also, too, they even had a movie, Little Red Riding Hood. And so forth, things like that. So, I figured I picked that up. I'm glad I did. Now, this 
Um, uh, I did a lot of four books here. Picked all four of these out and so far. Um, these books are little cookbooks, little um books on making drinks and things like that. Um, nice little collection for your kitchen. Uh, for those who love to cook, entertain, and all that. This is the cooking banquet for celebrations right here. Um, this is a candy um bouquet banquet for um candy for celebrations here and uh these are booze <laughs> infused cakes uh again for entertainment and so forth this is you know something that you may want to uh check into and then uh, these are shop sickles and so forth so um these are how to make specific type drinks and so forth are uh, with alcohol in it of course um and all that um uh, for parties entertainments and things like that so i picked them up and everything and then i also i just said okay we, we're just gonna bundle these together and just put these together somebody may be interested in those books and so forth you know those who love to entertain um and so forth will be interested in these four little books that they can keep right in their kitchen drawer okay I don't normally pick up paperbacks, not that much. Uh, you know, they're very inexpensive. Let's drink some coffee before it starts to get cold. Okay, I don't usually pick up paperbacks and so far, but when I was checking through the books and so far, uh, I saw these two little paperbacks and so far by the same person. And so forth, and then I picked them up. Read the title, and so far, are uh, Charlene Harris, uh, dead as the doornail. <laughs> I thought that was like okay. I've heard that slang so many times. Uh, dead to the world, another slang <laughs> that I can uh, and that's familiar to me. So I thought I would pick these books up. These two books up. They're gonna be a little lot of two. And the last thing that I did get, which I'm, you know, wanting to do, and this here is a third um, collection, a full collection of Six Feet Under. Now, I haven't even seen the movie in so far, but I've seen the previews, and it's very, very interesting and so far. And uh, this is the complete third season of that and so far um, and everything, so... I like the book, the storyline, and all that, so I just figured I'll go ahead and pick this up. Yeah, I'll pick this up. So, that is my little haul. You know, I don't do a whole lot, but I do bring you the small hauls that I do get. And I thank you for joining me on this little haul here. <laughs> and I hope you go take a look at the store, because we do stuff, still have stuff on sale. And when I add these handbags on my store, they will become part of the sale as well. And also, um, I, well, all the stuff that I, I have today will become part of the sale. Once it gets sanitized, everything gets sanitized and everything gets into my inventory and everything, then it's part of the sale. So, thank you. This is Eunice, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.